How else are we going to eat things like KFC and Pizza Hut? I agree that animals deserve to be slaughtered, don't right? It is quite legitimate to say that they deserve to be abused because we're putting them through all of that and if you go against that system, you get penalised. It's vegan. Everyone's forced to be vegan. No more slaughtering animals. I don't agree with like factory farming or like abuse of animals. And there's a difference as well. That's bad. Yeah. How else are we going to eat things like KFC and Pizza Hut? I think that use sustainable or alternatives that aren't being funded enough that we can get different things and then not have to abuse them. I think Such killing animals. Be vegan. You think killing animals is fine? Okay, let's let's change the. Farming is fine. Okay. But I don't think I don't agree with like factory farming or like abuse of animals. And there's a difference as well because yeah. like. Abuse could mean like you beat your dog at home, and yeah. you get angry, or it could mean factory farming, and they're That's still true. entirely different. They're, they're worlds apart, right? Yeah, yeah, they're worlds apart. Let's change the sign to animals deserve to be slaughtered. Yeah, that sounds gruesome. gruesome. That sounds gruesome. Deserve. Why? You just said before you don't mind if animals are killed. I don't, but they don't deserve it. What if we put a system in place where it's going to happen to you no matter what? We can change that system, but we're not going to remove that system because we want to benefit from your from your poor treatment. What does that mean? There are laws in pl like, if you go to a slaughterhouse, yeah. the animals have no chance of escape. If it does escape, it's going to get brought back in to yeah. get slaughtered. If you try and rescue animals from a slaughterhouse, you will get sent to jail. Yeah, because you're stealing all this good stuff. They're not property, they're animals. <laughs> no, but, but anyways, that's the but that, that's, that's, how they're, that's, how they're, that's how they're commodified, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that system, it is quite legitimate to say that they deserve to be abused because we're putting them through all of that and if you go against that system, you get penalized. No, but so it's not like it's difference. not just like a thing of oh it just happens like there's system in place to specifically yeah. send them there but to say deserve it makes it sound like they've done something to deserve it they don't deserve it i think if what? you're abusing or killing animals they, they it's not that they've done something to earn that they haven't done anything wrong they've just existed yeah like that's you can not, do things to people even if they don't deserve it regardless yeah, yeah. so they don't deserve to be slaughtered but yeah they but you, st you still would prefer that they would be slaughtered i guess yeah i don't mind if they're slaughtered but okay. i don't think they deserve it what is it about animals that makes you feel like they shouldn't be abused but they should be slaughtered oh i think it's the same with humans i think it's like using inhumane murder gases and like hanging people versus like at, like in war for example yeah. you don't you're not allowed to use cluster munitions because they're incredibly inhumane cause a lot of pain and detriment but you can shoot people because you need to complete your role and it's the same with animals talking in terms of war and talking in terms of eating animal products right yeah do you think that we need to be eating animal products to be happy or healthy no. So war, in times of war, war is considered a necessity. So is this one. You just said that no, I don't we, we don't need it, but it's yeah. considered a necessity by not me, by uh, like other people. <laughs> Sorry, that doesn't make any well, no, sense. No, no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, <laughs> is, we is, don't is, need animal. I, I don't think we need it. <laughs> yeah, but other we, people do. Like, okay, like, like, so, so it's not my opinion that matters. Let's talk about us as individuals, right? Okay, yeah. If we know, both of us, that yeah. we don't need animal products to be happy or healthy, yeah. then killing them for something like because they taste nice becomes unnecessary, right? Yeah. Because we could easily have something else. Like, so like I said, in terms of war, that's considered a necessity because if you don't retaliate in the face of war, you'll just die. Yeah, yeah sure. We're not in a life death situation where we eat animals and we're gonna die, or like we're not gonna die yeah. kind of thing, right? Okay. So, <laughs> animals deserve to be abused. That's where it comes around to, basically. Because. Yeah, those two things, in my, in my view, are very far removed. How so? Like, like, like saying animals deserve to be abused is like they deserve pain and punishment and torture. Yeah. Versus yeah. eating animals. Yeah. Is, 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 if you slaughter them humanely, is entirely different. Should you be allowed to eat animals elsewhere, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's that argument as well. Yeah. It's like it's, it's different to say abused versus slaughtered in life. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah definitely. Different. I'd agree. But it's not like it just happens. Like, if I said animals in the wild deserve to die from natural causes, that doesn't make sense because it just happens yeah. but we have very rigid systems in place where animals are slaughtered no matter what yeah. even if people try to stop but it so that is it. well 
we're in a democracy, right? Yeah. People have voted for these things to be in place. Yeah, but this it's not like it just happens. Happen. If we think back in history, right, yeah. in terms of slavery, yeah. There were laws, like I said, that have been put in place to make slavery legal. Yeah, there were people, people. And if I said um, black people deserve to be slaves yeah. in the same regard, what would you say to me? I would also disagree. I disagree that animals deserve to be slaughtered, and I disagree that black people. Would you disagree with me, even though you paid for a slave yourself? Like, do you think that would make sense? Maybe. Like, if you had a, if you paid for someone to be your slave, and someone had a sign saying well, I that I pay for animals all the time, <laughs> and I don't just don't think they deserve to be slaughtered. So, yeah. I does that make sense sure. to you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess I guess that's that's where we come uh, to an me, impasse. Me, I feel as though having a having a sort of uh, a humane, like 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 abuse. I agree. What does what does humane mean to you? It the means the word. And it means no, the the word objectively humane. What does oh, that? Objectively. Yeah. Uh, it just means in a sort of. If I, I were to treat ethical, if I were to way. treat you humanely, what would that look like? Ethically, you're not abusing me. Yeah. You're not. Would like, it look like I'm about to slit your throat? <laughs> your, no, you're not infringing on my rights. Ah, okay. You're not infringing on me. So my how mind. do we how do we kill an animal who doesn't need to die humanely? By not causing them any pain, not causing them You just them said blood, that them humane would not be infringing on someone else's rights. And I would say, at a basic level, animals have a basic right to live. Yeah, but if, right? a, if an animal's been born to, to, to die, yep. right, as so many are, yep. is that its right? So let's consider this. Did you choose to be born in the body that you're in right now? No. no. Do you think that animals chose to be born in whatever body they become in? Why should we determine their worth of life based on a factor that they absolutely cannot control? And how would you feel if that was done to you as well? I would probably wouldn't feel very good about it. And nor do they, I'm sure. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, so... I'm so confused. Wait, look, <laughs> but you just... In terms of uh, <laughs> conscious capability, mm. they, they don't process what's happening to them. If I know from the moment I'm born that I'm going to be slaughtered, that's not humane. If it's kept if it's kept secret from me and I die in a car crash, right? And I it's all been set up though. Yeah. And I had no idea and that was just to harvest my meat or whatever, right? That's humane because I didn't know. So you wouldn't you would live in a society where that system is put in place. Yeah, but I wouldn't know about it, so I'm fine. Yikes. Uh, well, but, but think about it, right? Why, why is it? Why is it? I really don't want people like you setting up societies. <laughs> don't get in, don't get into politics, please. No, no, I think it's wrong. I, no, no, no. I think it's wrong. I think you're a bit more so, on the fence. I'm so good at deciding society ideals. Okay. Everyone's vegan. Everyone's forced to be vegan. No more slaughtering animals. If you wanna, if you, if you are you vegan? No, no. Oh, okay. I'm not vegan. Wow, <laughs> I'm surprised that I'm surprised that came from someone who's not vegan. <laughs> <I know. laughs> no, like my parents were vegan for like four years, and I tried like a lot of their vegan foods, and it's like kind of just the same. Like the cheese is a bit gross, but it's kind of the only difference. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I feel bad about what you're saying. I'm not gonna go around setting up a society where where people are harvested. <laughs> but that's the kind of consistency that you fall upon if you agree with the terms that no, you are telling me. The point I'm trying to make is that if I don't know about it, it's not, it's not unethical. So as soon as an animal knows that it's going to die, it becomes unethical and therefore you can't eat it? Or? Yeah, well, I think if you're going to cause them pain, that's the whole point. That's why pain is unethical, because you, you're, you're inflicting harm. Not, and they, they have to <laughs> You go them. ahead, yeah. you go ahead. So, a lot of the animals that we do eat, like cows that we buy from the supermarket, yeah. they know they're going to fucking die, because they're put in a truck yeah. with a lot of other Just cows. have a look at this over yeah, here. Just have a look at this. That, that is how oh, a lot do you think these animals do don't know they're going to die? I think that's wrong. <laughs> that, I agree. That's what but that is... Animals the overwhelming majority of how animal products are made. Yeah, but I think that's wrong. I, I, but I still think that animals... I, I, I disagree with what you're saying, with animals deserve to be abused, and I think if you kill them humanely, but that's not humane, by my definition, even from what I described. Do you think that you could truly disagree with how animals are treated while simultaneously funding the industries that do that to them? Yeah, I think people do it all the time, but they agree with that. 
Do you think that makes any logical People sense at all? and buy fucking, I don't know, like tiny sweatshop worker clothes and then <laughs> post on Instagram saying stuff like, oh my gosh, we have to stop this stuff happening. And then they're going and doing it. Like, it happens all the time. I think it's illogical, but it's sort of like a like a purposeful ignorance because they don't want to see themselves associated with that, I think. Um, yeah. I think it's wrong. Uh, you can disagree with it, but like, you know, I, I pers- like personally, I'm only going to buy free range eggs. And, you know, I'm not going to go vegan, but if I want to eat eggs, I'm going to only buy free range eggs because okay. that's ethical. Okay. So it, no, I think, I think, I think you, you raise good points. Like, it is interesting to think about, but I think mm. it, it, I agree it's wrong when you haven't thought about it. But if you're morally making, if you're consciously making that decision and you're happy with yourself doing that, I don't, I think that's your choice, you know, it's up to you to do what you want. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I can't force anyone yeah, exactly. to stop eating exactly. animal products, but you can try convince I think, them. Yeah, it's, 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 their, it's their choice, but it's like I'm just gonna be so cool that everyone will obey me, and I'm gonna ban people from eating animals. Mm. Mm. But yeah, thanks for the conversation, anyway, guys. Mm. Nice. I think I, think I was I was cooler. <laughs> <laughs> so many the points you bring up. Yeah. Well, you didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't. Um, and do you guys do this often, or? I do it. I do it. Um, every every like two weeks. Oh, this is just my random thing for my YouTube channel. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm subscribed. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much yeah, for the conversation, Michael. Michael, I'm Dylan. Cheers. Hello. Nice to meet you guys. I'm trying out a new thing with ending these videos and it will be a reflection on my thoughts on how I did in these conversations because honestly, while I think I have a great outreach style, I also have a inevitable hubris of thinking that I have reached a peak of where I can improve with these things. And through watching these videos and through the self-reflection, it's an exercise for me to really adapt and really think more about what I could say or what I couldn't say, all of these different things. So yeah, I'm hoping that you guys will join me on the self-reflection and think about it in your own lives or just be interested in what I have to say about how I performed in these conversations. With this conversation in particular, it was quite rare for me to talk to someone who was so heavily opposed. And I get a lot of comments that say things like, oh, how can you be so calm in the face of someone like that, etc. And really the honest answer is I just hold a lot of empathy for those kind of people. It is sad to admit, but I am almost 100% sure that if someone came up to me, let's say it was four years ago, where I had no idea about ethical veganism, where I was consuming an ungodly amount of animal products, that I would become as extremely defensive as these people are, and I would twist my logic in order to be right, um, in order to make it make sense for myself, because I truly believe that no one desires evil from their own perspective. When we consider other victims' perspectives, it really shows us the actions that we take have an effect on others that can really hurt them. And not only that, but the very fact that he stopped to talk to me about this instead of just plainly ignoring me, like so many people do, I am honestly so grateful for the opportunity to have a conversation about this where we are respectful of each other even if we disagree because if i was just ignored there's no way i could make these videos and if i can't make these videos i can't share them with people and we can't spread this message to people who are ready to take action and ready to change and consider the victims of their choices it's honestly people like this who really showed me by watching them because I didn't talk to anyone in person about ethical veganism. I only was able to watch videos of other people talk about it. And it was, yeah, honestly, it was people like this person who just by watching that conversation and thinking, how would I act 
in regards to these questions that this person is asking me, how would I act and how would I answer them? And I found that I honestly wouldn't want to answer them in the same way. But if that meant I didn't want to answer them in the same way, that would mean I would have to change my actions. Otherwise, I would be lying. I would not want to drop my values of compassion and logic. But the only way for me not to drop those values was to change my lifestyle to live in accordance with those values. So a quick reflection on this conversation to sum it up. I'm really glad that he came and talked to me in a very respectful manner. And honestly, I feel like I didn't give him the same respect. Um, the fact that even though he did trip on his logic a little bit, I did laugh at him. And honestly, that's, that's not the kind of person that I want to be. I would rather show compassion to that person and understanding that they don't even realize that they're tripping over their own logic and instead of laughing at them, maybe just showing them that reflection, maybe just stating that rather than laughing at them to make them feel like they've tripped over their logic and instead just pointing out that fact very calmly. It's a bit of a hard case because I have, I almost have like a split personality when it comes to me trolling about how I use the sign and play devil's advocate as opposed to when I think about a serious debate. And with these conversations where the person is obviously not ready to listen to the victim's perspective, I just think about what does the audience want to see? Would they rather see someone who can plainly and clearly explain their logic without making the other person look bad or feel bad? and really just showing that if you want to exercise logic and compassion, the only way to do that in regards to animal ethics is to stop funding the industries that support their abuse. That's about it from my reflection on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way up until here and hearing me ramble on. I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you so much.